Prepare to be shocked. For centuries, we have been given the wrong information. In the writings of Tertullian, he does mention Trinitas and the persons. This is true, but historians, apologists, especially Trinitarian apologists, will not tell you that he also said many other things that were not biblical. He was accused of following the teachings of Valentinus, the Gnostic. Valentinus used emanations and Tertullian disguised it by saying prolations, but it's one and the same thing. He, Tertullian also taught that the Son was a derivation and portion of the whole, and that the Father was the entire substance. In other words, the Son was less than the Father. They were not co-equal. And thirdly, that the Son was begotten from, guess what, the womb of God's own heart. This is not Bible. This is some kind of mystical teaching. He alludes to it that it's in the Bible, but there is no place where you can find such a thing. Does God have a womb? The answer is no. The first individual in history to tell us in writing that, that in God there was three persons was not Tertullian. The, the individual who came up with this first and mentioned it in his writings was Philo of Alexandria. I know this is a shocker to most Trinitarians, but this is the truth. The one in the middle is the father of the universe. And the beings on each side are those most ancient powers, which are always close to the living God. Therefore, the middle person of the three, being attended by each of his powers as bodyguards. A vision at one time of one being, and at another time of three. When Philo alludes to the middle person of the three, he is stating that God and His ancient powers are persons, three persons.